One of the Sundays that we were in Bolivia, we planned to visit Catoca. So Catoca is a small town. How far is it outside of Santa Cruz? 20 kilometers, I think? Catoca is about 18 to 20 kilometers outside of Santa Cruz. It's a small town. The local legend is that a virgin appeared in a tree. And so they built a shrine for her there in Catoca. And then the community grew around that. So we planned to go on Sunday for the big markets. I also wanted to uh, try some of the traditional food again. And I was really excited to see the blessing of the cars. It's definitely something I had never seen before. We don't have that in the United States at all. I didn't know that happened anywhere. And so when I heard that they blessed the cars in Katoka on Sunday mornings, I really wanted to go see that. So when they bless the cars, they decorate them all up. We showed the decorations in the minibus in La Paz and kind of talked about it there. Put decorations on the cars and then the priest goes around and blesses the cars. And what? With holy water. With holy water and also blesses the people that are there. And if you, by any chance, you just walk by at the same time that blessing and with the holy water, you might get some of that holy water on you too. So also in Katoka is the market. For most people, that's the main attraction. It's just to go and eat, eat the authentic uh, food from Santa Cruz. So that's what's in the, is it, would you call it a food hall in Katoka? There's a food market. Okay, so there's a big building. It's just a big open air building. And when you walk in, they're just, stall after stall where women are cooking and you can just every single booth is selling pretty much the same thing yeah they sell the same thing because there's a lot of people that are gonna eat the same thing <laughs> and i think the the food market is just very different again from what we are used to just this big open area with everybody's cooking over charcoal Yes. Or gas. So there's, it kind of uh, has that campfire feel to it. There and is, uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of charcoal or, or wood burning inside. So it's very smoky, as you can see in the video. What do you guys think of that? Oh, uh, well, first of all, it's really hot and everybody here is cooking. So, like, all the smoke and stuff it almost makes it kind of hard to breathe and it's like humid. Uh, but that's part of the experience. Definitely part of the experience. And, um, uh, it's, it's fun. The smell is so good. It smells like, you know, barbecue in, inside the building. It smells like campfire all around. Yeah, it does. It is. Little, what are we looking at? Lengua. This is lengua. Uh, lengua. Uh, lengua. Ajito. 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 Ajito.
they put uh, almonds in it, and the name of that is Chancaca. Hmm. Yeah, kind of weird name. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Chancaca. And then what was it? Your brother got something outside of like the big food market that you didn't like. And it was like pig skin. What oh. was that? And you, he was laughing that you didn't, you were like, no, I don't want that. Well, there is uh, escabeche. El escabeche is, uh, is another uh, dish that they have that is traditional there. It is uh, pickle pig skin. <laughs> onions and carrots. And that's something you don't like? Uh, I do, I do like, but I decided to not have it because uh, just to be safe. I'm yeah. sorry, I don't want to be running to the bathroom. <laughs> like, Jen like I ended up by the end of the trip. And then when we were leaving the market, the kids tried a sweet that was like wrapped in paper. What is that called? It's called virulo. The virulo is also made out of sugar and they put a stick on it as a handle for it. And then you just uh, suck on it. If you don't uh, like kids really love it. Stuff, I, you? When I was a kid, I have so many virulos in my life. <laughs> oh. What do you think? I like it actually. Yeah. Most of the food and all the stuff they eat is salty. Um, most pastries, are, uh, pastries that we make are salty or, well, well, no, salty, salty is more like bread. That is no salty or sweet, it's just, and there is plenty of that. Lots of breads everywhere. There is all types of bread. There is cuñapés, rosca, pan de arroz, arepas, and they have it as a soft version and then also as a biscuit version where it's all hard and you have to kind of soak it in into your cup of tea or coffee. And then uh, there is a church, you know, there is a church where everybody goes for um, Sunday, what do you call it? Is it Catholic? It's a Catholic. So Mass, so Sunday Mass. And then they do a pilgrimage, right? In December, people walk from Santa Cruz. So they walk that 20 kilometers from Santa Cruz to Catoca as part of a pilgrimage for the Virgin. Yes, there is a pilgrimage um, in December uh, to ask for promises or blessing, I guess. Normally in Bolivia, they call it promises. I think probably um, blessings would be what it would translate to. So the church is a beautiful um, structure in Katoka that you can come to church services or you can visit around behind. They have the big long tables with the candles that people um, light and ask for the things that they want or need. Their blessings. Their blessings <laughs> uh, or blessing of the cars. We saw the blessings kind of on the back side of the church was where they had a, a road that everybody had lined their cars up and that's where the priest was doing Yeah, they, they put it on the back because of traffic, right? So Katoka, the market that has kind of the traditional pottery, it has um, all the kind of tourist type things that you can find, hammocks, um, pictures. Yes, as you can see in the plaza, there is the musicians, there is yes, lots the of musicians, vendors. Lots of bands. So they are always playing for a little tip, so you can ask them to play your song for a bigger tip. And normally people, most people from Bolivia, they ask them to play their song of the uh, soccer team. Oh. That's what they ask most of the time. Hmm. Uh, so kind of in the area around the church is all, I would call like the tourist market. So with the pottery and the hammocks and the jewelry. So before we went on our trip, when Hilton came, he brought back necklaces for the boys and Fua loved his. He wore it every single day. He never took it off until it literally broke. And so on our, this trip, we were looking to find the necklace to replace Fua's necklace and we found it in Katoka. So he was really excited about that. There it is. All right. Mission accomplished. That was really cool. 
Um, and then we also wanted to find pottery. So Hilton had brought back on his trip, he brought back some bowls and I wanted to get mugs for, we love hot chocolate. And Hilton's aunt had brought 100% Bolivian chocolate. And so that's what we make our hot chocolate with. And so I wanted to get some mugs from Bolivia to bring home with us as a souvenir. Just walking towards the entrance to the town. We're looking for pottery. I don't know if we're gonna find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay. This is the one. Wow. This is where you got our bowls before? Yep, right here. Wow. Oh, wow. Ta -da. Hey, I know who Do they have any mugs? Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta see. Oh, no. There's the mugs. Oh, right there's here. the mugs. Perfect. We need five of them. Uh, what are the ones that are awesome? 20? 20? No, Looks like they're each a little bit different. Yeah, because they're handmade. Mm -hmm. They're not machine made. Yep. You can tell they're made with a wheel. See? This one is smaller, bigger, fatter, thinner. Yep. We don't buy a lot of souvenirs, but that was something that I wanted to kind of add, add to our own pottery here at home was the mug. So we went searching for the mugs when we left and we're heading out of Katoka when we're ready to go. Listo! Bueno, este es el final del video. Espero que les haya gustado hayan disfrutado y hayan podido conocer un poco más de Cotoca para todos ustedes los que no, nunca han visitado Cotoca uh, espero que esto les haya dado una buena idea de lo que pueden hacer en Cotoca y las comidas que pueden disfrutar en Cotoca um, y para ustedes los que viven en Cotoca o en Santa Cruz y han visto este video o los que viven en Bolivia uh, bueno Espero que les haya gustado también y uh, por favor compártanlo con sus amigos, uh, denle un uh, like y bueno si no estás suscrito suscríbete al canal que es gratis. Bueno también si les gustaría ver algo de los Estados Unidos comenten abajo y háganos saber qué les gustaría ver, qué les gustaría saber de nuestra familia. So we've really enjoyed sharing with you our travels in Bolivia. We hope you enjoyed um, our day that we spent in Katoka, showing you the markets and the food um, and everything that we did. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We have more videos coming. Make sure and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a video comes out. We'd love if you'd like our videos and comment so that we can get to know you and your thoughts on Bolivia. We'll see you later. Ciao.